don't know if this is going to end up being a bit of a fizzer monthly Mad vs. City competition wise and if it is I'll probably just start playing a different game and doing that which is a thing that I can do because I have many games and I might shift the competition nights to the Tuesday or the Thursday I've been thinking of shaking up my my streaming schedule the fact that I have a streaming schedule to shake up is also kind of funny um, I hope you all have had an awesome rest of your week since Thursday I had a lot of fun. Excuse me, I also had a fizzy drink just before, which I think I might have to stop doing because it's made me very burpy. And if I'm on the stream, it's not nice to burp in people's ears and faces. Uh, so at this point in time, I believe I am just talking into the void. I will put a thing on my Facebook so that everybody knows that I am live now. Uh, I don't know if necessarily that would make much of a difference. Boop. But that's a thing I'm going to do. Manage my thing straight from my phone. Library, Madverse, City. No. Or just streaming another game if no one turns up. Smiley face. Carmen is watching Flossed in the next room and just made a noise of gah, so something clearly interesting has happened. I wonder if uh, Mikhail has turned up again and is doing evil things. Or just... So I'll give it another few minutes and then I will just pick one of the games. I bought a couple of new games on Steam today, so that'll give me a chance to try them out. Yes. And there's no one there to really chat to right now, so I'll just continue chatting away to myself. What I'll do is I might see what other games I have. You can go away for the time being. It doesn't take long to get you reloaded. Um, what have I got? What have I got? I downloaded a game called Unrailed, which is in early access, so let me just install that, because that looks and sounds interessante. Also see how my... Excuse me while I just do a little bit of faffing about in the background. Oh, that's the one. Properties. Ooh, okay. So... I'm gonna have to I want to keep that one. Um, I'm just freeing up some space. Yes, I'm gonna do that. There's a few things I bought that I'm not really using, and some of them are quite big. So I'll just free up some space to get rid of them. I think I'm gonna get rid of that one. Get them at least all payday. I think it's in a bit of bad taste to play that at the moment. What with everything happening as it is happening. Um, yeah, so we're installing a thing, it's doing its thing to install a thing, which is good. Ah, there's Perdita, hello! So yes, um, I don't know how much of you, you've already caught Perdita, but it looks like it might just be me streaming a random game. Excellent, many things. Um, yeah. Uh, boop, cleared up a thing. That's ready to play. I added it to my wish list and then I went straight and bought it, which kind of makes it a bit redundant for the wish list, but there you, there you go. I think it's, is it early access? Pre release? What are we, what are we calling ourselves? There's a couple of early access games that I'm keen to try out actually, including one that is called Satisfactory where you have to make a factory. I also think that I should play some Disco Elysium, because I've heard that's pretty darn good as well. Um, and playing that on the stream is probably not the worst idea in the world, because it be, could be quite entertaining when I'm tripped out by that. Um, so let's see what this game looks like. Yes. I don't have a... Oh, no, it's, it's installing the thing. 
I'd already installed the thing. First time startup is being enacted. I have a progress bar that is progressing, and then it progressed real quick. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and drag you over here. Thank you. Okay, let's give you some audio on the stream. Oh, we've got a privacy policy. We've also got a plane. There we go. I can decide whether I want to be visible to the leaderboards or not. See my mouse on that. Uh huh. Just a just an error button. He does pretty graphics. If I music, I'll be happy. He looks to have some interesting. Yes, that's acceptable. Okay, so ah, oh, that's kind of cute. You got to walk around to interact with the um thingy. That is pretty cool. I like that. Hmm, it's not being super loud. Let's turn it up a smidge. Roo. Do. Oh, I'm loading the right window, of course. Right. Ah, uh, that's what I think I want. And I want full screen. Yes! It even full screened on the screen I was using! Huzzah! A quality exquisite. Oh, oh. Let's let's start with high. Uh, so we don't give my computer a little stroke, shall we? Okay. I'm happy with this. There's... Oh, I know. Oh! Pfft, Egypt. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, it's got a red... How rude. Um, I just quit because I'm that smart. Uh, but that's okay. Oh, no, don't do it. I need you to go to the other... Expletive deleted window. Ah, oh, it's alien resurrection all over again. Oh, I'm looking like I'm a little Indiana Jones looking guy now, which is kind of cool. Okay, fine. Do that for me. Let me do that drag and drop once more. There we go. Okay, I'm back. I'm glad that there's popcorn happening. Right. So, what I wanted to do, because it has accessibility options, is just to see what those are, just out of curiosity. So we have a motion sickness mode and a color blindness mode. Well, that's pretty nifty. Okay, back. Now, I don't want to quit. I want to start a new game. Okay. I want to play the tutorial. Let's play a tutorial. Generating a map. Well, that's pretty. Welcome to tutorial. Move your character with was it? Also with the regular arrow keys to go faster. Faster press shift. Ah, craft new. I need wooden iron. Grab the axe and chop down the tree. in the direction. Ah, I keep dropping the pants. There we go. Nope, I need that. Okay. Aha, you point in the direction of what you're trying to cut down. Both wooden iron onto the box wagon to let the crafting wagon create a new place. Okay. Aha! Put it there. 
order to build across the river, we need a bridge. Grab some wood, place it on the river, then connect the tracks. Okay. So I pick up the axe, and then I point in the direction of what I'm trying to do. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do at all. Maybe that's why it gave me two trees. I'm getting a real overcooked vibe here. Of my not entirely doing the thing I want to do. Okay, and then I'll pick up a pickaxe. It would be nice if I can have both of them. over time and will start to burn. Build a bridge to the bucket and fill it at the river. Oh, goodness me. That's not ideal. Magic burninating tree. Now use it. Wagons that are on fire cannot be used. Good to know. Okay. I like my little bar there. I like how straightforward this interaction is. Communicate your team, use the emoji wheel by holding control and you can... Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So build thing, get that. Good job. If the train reaches the end of the track, the game is over. Try to avoid that. Okay, well, I can't really... Thank you. Helpful? Not helpful. I need a fire extinguisher. Okay. I think I like that. I think I should give that a go. Let's see what happens. Game mode. Endless. Difficulty. Medium. No! No, no, no. Uh, save game. Peace one. Could only be loaded once. Sure. Know what that means. Now it's just gonna do its thing and load for me, which is handy. Oh, I have a team of people. Where am I? It isn't Jackbox. Yeah. A couple more people, um, then I'll definitely jump into the into the jackbox. Um, oh, wrong buttons! Not the buttons that I want to press. Sorry. Um, I'm just trying out a, a new game that I just got um, in the interim. Oh, 
past. Okay. So I can let it now pass. Ah, okay. Okay, so that's me setting a path for the bot. what I just did. Okay, continue. That's what I want to do. If the bot runs into Gen Shovel, it'll let you know by using the emoji button. Cool. Can I do a thing now? Thank you. Oh, it's about to start. Ha 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 ha! Okay. This has got. Oh, Darren and I and the gang are gonna have so much fun with this. Multiplayer. I deliberately made sure that I found one. Of oh, it's on fire! It's absolutely on fire. I wish it wasn't on fire. I don't like that it's on fire. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I've hemmed myself in with the train itself. Okay. There's a rubber ducky there. That's kind of cool. You can take that. Oh, it's gonna end very badly. Can I get the rubber ducky? Ah, oh, the rubber ducky stays! So I haven't claimed the rubber ducky. Okay, so let's... Let's leave the bucket near there. Uh, okay, buddy, can you gather your stuff? Thank you. Duck! See what I did there? I'm hilarious. I'm just gonna do a quick refresh over here. Uh, and then it closes that window, which isn't ideal. Okay. Oi, buddy! I said. Restock the wagons. Restock the wagons, please. Thank you. Oh, we are so very doomed. Oh, that's on fire now. Oh, it's gonna end very badly for me. Yeah, I get that, I get that. Oh, I should have. So very close. Oh well. Cool. I like it. I'm a fan, and it's gonna be fun. Game of. Uh... Is there anyone else around? Anyone else in chat? Anyone around? In chat. Okay. What else have we got? 
What else did I get today? I got cooking simulator today as well. Surgeon simulator didn't really do it for me, but I'm gonna try cooking simulator to see what happens with this one. It's still making the chuff 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 noises on because I haven't quit the game. Go back and quit. And how was the rest of your week, Predator? After our fun and games of the other week? Of nearly, nearly defeating the baddies in um, oh, okay. FTL, thanks to the expert advice of Neil. Much ups, it's been a lot of that. There's been a lot of upping and downing. <sighs> So is that download queued? Why is it queued? Where'd you go? I'm gonna promote you. Okay, close that one. Idle Champions is updating, that's fine. You can deal with that. We'll just let this one install on its own. I just open my mail client when I really don't want to. Let's make me big head mode again. Oh look, see, my big head mode is centered, but my playing game mode wasn't centered. So that's a thing. That's a thing. Well, I hope that the ups made up for the downs. Um, and while that's doing its thing, oh my goodness. It's this kind of quality streaming that people have come to expect from me. Um, like I just part of me just wants to launch FTL again because FTL is just so much fun. Pretty good. Rest of the week had a lot of fun on Overcooked with uh, the Melbourne gang. Um, sending out much love to the Melbourne gang. Um, and then watched Ant-Man on Friday night and then watched Captain America Civil War on Saturday night. Did them, yes, much Lego sorting in fact. I will, even though I've shared it before, I will do it again. Share my album of Lego sorting pictures in the um, chat so that one might have a look at them. Oh, boo. Things are happening to various people, people that don't deserve it. That's not good. But then again, that seems to be 2020 being, you know, a jerk. I made some cosplay stuff for um, Isabel too, which was kind of cool. Um, if I can find the link. Copy image address. Does this work? Yeah, the sheet was so good. It was, like I said, it was included when a friend gave us a bunch of Lego. Uh, and we'd just been, oh, Jack thinks that was me, I'm the Jack, uh, and we'd just been using it and it's, and it worked super well. Oh, Starfinder, come on, there we go. Uh, album is Lego Day. There we go. So hopefully both of those image links work. Um, it was fun. I was up till like two in the morning doing it because I started it after the movie, whereas I could have done it probably during the movie, but I didn't want to disturb the movie watching. Um, so it's really good. I'm especially proud of that two-tier dagger scabbard thing um, that I based on um, a sort of instead of just putting two bits of cardboard together and like hoping that they stay apart, I put a second bit with the cutout for the knife between them so it deliberately raised it away and that helped. Um, so this is taking its sweet time so I think I'm just going to start some FTL because I know that works well and I know that Perdita, you are full of helpful advice. Yeah, a lot of gaff in it a lot of gaff. Um, I should have taken some progress shots. 
um, that they're all kind of covered in um, uh, my brain went away they're just covered in gaff and then I used paint uh, I'm just going to take a moment to change the description uh, of my little thing because I can a couple of viewers, one of them I think is me Playing with viewers, kind of, I guess, that counts as playing with viewers, I mean, including viewers. Let's, let's call it that anyway, and we'll go back. Oh, we've got another chat person. Let's go back to mod view and see what happens. See who that chat, see who that viewing person is. Right, oh, there we go. There's a thing. Oof. Uh, and of course, all the chat goes away, which is vexing, because um, I don't know if anyone else has done that, so hello chat people. Um, I was going to do a mad press city tawny get my iteration book to make sure that we fully record uh, this. So I'll just do a quick thing. Have shifted to FTL as I take it as. That's not how you spell that. For MVC20. Anyone want some low brain engagement? Question mark. Yes. Lots of people excited about wearing masks. I'm excited about buying a whole bunch of different ones. There's a bunch of different interesting places that I've found that I'm going to go for. Uh, have switched to FTL. Let's make that an app. If actually that's not FTL on stream as no takers for compliment wrap battle. Oh, uh, that's all one thing and that doesn't work. Wrap battle tawny. Whoa. Uh, lol makes it look like I'm being like bitter and stuff. Swing by to. Uh, I have got a friend who's making me a rainbow one, and they've already had the cloth, so they're triangling the design. Uh, so they're also not charging me for them, but I'm obviously happy to pay people if they're making them and they want to make them, because um, I'll be needing like kids ones and family ones and ones with filters that we can swap out and all that kind of stuff, so that's going to be boring. Join the cruise. Twitch. Dot TV slash Gilligan. Hey you. Boop. Okay. This is so professional. This is me sending messages I need to 
to look at like four or five different screens to do all the different things. Right, now, I told you to start FTL and you didn't. Not. So, we are about to become the Gilligan oh dear, 5. I think I've iterated, no, no, it's Gilligan 4. This is, this is what we're up to. Uh, so I should iterate one. No, it is Gilligan 5. 33, 4, Stuve, Streve. Yes. Nope, new game. I can't continue. So what I'm gonna have done. Okay. So it needs to go away. Uh, have I, I have given myself an FTL. Oh no, I need to be in the hangar. Okay. So it's gonna be the Gilligan five. No, he just God damn it, you Honestly. It's just embarrassing. Right. I know what I'm up to. Yes, you are definitely 34 at this point in time. So what I'll what I'm doing is the, it, the current iteration in here is what I am up to, not what I last played. So, Purdy, who would you like to be? We have options to customize. Oh. Give me my, thank you. So, we can make you, you have a variety of long and short hair, lighter and darker skin, and various outfits. Let's rename you as Purdy 4. So yours is a number numeral. I've got it written on my book. Where there's number numerals and Roman numerals. And what we're up to. I can just randomize it if you'd like. That one looks like a little bit of red hair going on in there with those pixels, presences. Randomize, okay. I'm closing my eyes. I'm clicking the thing loads and loads of times. There, that's you. I am Fiven. And anyone else in the chat want their name on the thing? Maybe not. I don't know if there's anyone else in the chat. I think a few people are going to be joining us in the not too distant future. Next Sunday AD. And the data I carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. Oh, I need to be in the game while I'm boop. There we go, get my head out of the way. Go to the options menu to turn on or off sound effects. How is the game audio for your? It seems to be going quite well. Purdy, you're flying. Are you happy to be flying? Or would you like to be weapons or engines? It's up to you. I do not mind. Let's just turn off those things. A bit loud. Let's make it not quite as loud. Am I a bit loud also, or is it just the game audio? Okay, I'll just turn the game audio down a smidgeroo. It's a technical term, smidgeroo. I'm good. Cool, cool. Okay, we've got to get up there to get there. Oh, we can take a couple of different routes. So let's just go down here. Okay, your sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt one of many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you, or else he's trying to avoid notice. Okay. I think we should hail the refugees. Say, what's up? What's up, fam? The vessel is relieved to hear from you. They're running low on supplies. They want to get a drone and they want to give us five fuel. Absolutely. Okay. We like fuel. Right, we're 
correct. Flying around. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. Oh, nearby pirates seem to have advanced hacking tools. They tried to shut down our engines. They're barely operational. Hey, Fidave! How you doing? Crew name. Smiley face. Is anything in the way? I'll name a crew member after you. And then you give it and give it a an iterated number name. So I'm up to five and thirty three was thirty two was now thirty four. Um, I figure if you do join, I'll go with Fee Dave zero one, and then work up because we die a lot. Cool. Uh, we'll just finish this combat. Uh, so in previous games, playing with very smart people. Hang on a second. Options. Full screen. Is full screen an option? No! Oh, that's why I don't do full screen. Because it wants to take me to the other window. Okay, there we go. I'll deal with that in a second. Uh, so yes, playing before... Little FO1. Okay, done. You're going in my crew manifest. We have stuff. should deal with the oxygen that's being depleted. So. So there we go. I don't know if that's zooming in on there, but for you, Dave, you have joined the crew manifest. Purdy is flying, uh, but do you have a preference on WEPs or engineering? And one day you will be Lil F23. You absolutely will, because this is FTL and there will be a lot of death. <coughs> so yes, would you like WEPs or engineering? You are currently stationed in weapons. So you are currently in charge of pew pew pew. Not engineering? Done. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to scoot across to this one. Okay, oh, scout with the rebel fleet. Oh, they're trying to get away. Well, I guess it's... Targeting the engines. Oh, intruders. Okay. Looks like myself and little 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 F101 are gonna get our pew 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 on. Let's just deal with that. Hey, we did it him, and now I'm gonna go to get my health back. There we go, that was pretty efficient. Good work, team. Ship breaks apart, revealed to know you're still one step ahead of the fleet. I am indeed. Just heal my business. And ready to jump. Okay, we can go down up here. Down up here? We can go north. Hmm. I think... So let's let's go this way. So there's a voice from the engine room. Okay, pay their toll. No. Oh, we're gonna regret the decision apparently. 
So I'm going to do more of that auto fire because I don't have I don't have enough weapons to really do sort of coordinated volley firing. Oh, good shooting. Okay, now here's the thing. Normally, we have a zero tolerance uh, for pirates policy, but they're offering us a lot of missiles and missiles can get expensive and hard to come by. So I think we should take it. But what do you think, crew? Should we accept their surrender, or should we blow them out of the sky? We will almost certainly not get that many missiles. Accept the offer? Yep, accept the offer. Cool. I think that's gonna, I think that's gonna work out in our favour. Okay. So we've got a mercenary here. We can hire them to delay the rebels. We can hire them to scout the sector for us. We can fight them and get some scrap, or we can just... We have no need of their services. What's our thoughts, crew? I'm inclined to fight them at this point in time uh, and get some scrap. Uh, they have missile and some kind of energy weapon on them by the looks of it. Uh, their, mis their, energy, their weapon systems aren't charged up. Pew pew. So we have a one vote for pew pew, two votes for pew pew. Shall we go ahead with some pew pew for Dave? Look, I'm just going to make the assumption that the weapons officer wants to use their shiny weapons and do the thing. Okay. So, shields, lasers. Oh, it's an ion thing. So they've got a missile and an ion. Okay, it's powering up its FTL drive. It's trying to get away, so let's just do that. Pew pew, pew pew, it's unanimous. Unanimous pew pew pewing. Okay, 20 scraps not bad, one fuel, one missile. We have a distress signal. I'm hoping that we're gonna start getting towards a... Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. It could be a trap. We have the option of sending an away party to investigate, but it could be a trap. I think we should investigate it. I think that the possibility of getting new stuff is a good idea. But again, we have a crew. What do we think? Send a party. Okay, so that's two for send a party. Send in a red shirt. Hey, there's a cache of stuff. Two fuel, a drone, and some scrap. And none of us died. So yay. Distress. Okay. In all the times I have played this, you find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them asking what's wrong. Help, we're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spider. I have received rewards for this, but frequently lose someone and get nothing. Do we want to send in a crew member to deal with the giant alien spiders or do we just want to avoid the death? So we've got someone good at, to avoid the death. I think, I think that's where we should be. Don't worry so much about the giant alien spiders. What do you think, Perdita? Leave them alone? Yeah, we're gonna leave them alone. Flip a, flip a coin. <laughs> oh, see, you put that in my head and now I feel like I need to. See what I'll do. I have the table destroyer is a giant solid aluminium math rock. So one is odd and two is even. And let's see if you actually hear this through my mic. Okay, we're sending in a crew member because I got a nine. Let's see what happens. <gasps> 34. He's gone. 
So I will now go and man the thing. <laughs> and it's taking it in the spirit to which the iterated names. So once again, you are now Purdy 5. Uh, okay. Victories? No. So. Current iterations. So what we are currently on, because that's how that was what confused me before, not what we got up to. You do, you match the ship. You did that on purpose. When we hire a new person and call them Purdy 5. Okay, oh, it's another distress signal. Oh no, that was the distress signal, yes. Okay. Oh, rebel ship moves into engage. Attempt to open communication, but realize the futility is this an AI thing. Pew, 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 that. Look, you can you can beam at me all you want, beaming person. I'm not gonna worry about missiles. I'm gonna save the missiles. I'm just gonna lasers. I'm just gonna pew, pew, pew. Good shooting, by the way, for Dave. Excellent shooting. Let's deal with shields now that we've dealt with the drone. And there. Webs. There we go. Such beams. Beams are cool, but you have to get rid of the shields to make them really effective. So... There we go. You can tell when the random number generator is tired of what you're doing. When it sends you up against someone with missiles and beams. You detect a rebel automated ship nearby. It does not engage and seems to be patrolling around a long range sensor station. I think we should attack the automated ship and get the sensor station. Look at it. it doesn't even have shields. It's easy. Easy, easy, easy. It's so easy. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to make an executive decision. What have we got? We've got a heavy laser and some kind of missile. So, loot, 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 loot. A voice from the veil says, loot, loot, loot. Oh, we got a fire. We got a fire. Let's do it the old fashioned way. Sorry about that, Fee Dave. I should have paused it, is what I should have done. 12 scrap. Well, that was. Not worth nearly suffocating my weapons officer for. Terribly sorry. Terribly sorry. Very rude. Poor form. Poor form. There we go. You're back. You're fine. You're fine. Another distress. Oh, that's good. Okay. Once you arrive at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire. We can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? I think we could lead them there. I'm happy to lead them. We might get a thing. I'm sorry, Fee Dave. It wasn't my fault. I was just foolish. I should have paused. That was Neil's advice. Next last time was I need to pause more. Quest marker is added in the next sector. Oh no. We went one too many. Okay, shall we explore an asteroid field? I think we should explore the asteroid field rather than waiting for the FTL to charge. What do we think? Explore, explore? Shall we be explorers? Probably gonna take some hull damage, but we might get some stuff for it. No? No explore? No explore? Too dangerous. Okay, too dangerous. Let's wait for the FTL to charge. Okay. Ah, oh, criminy. Baddies. Oh, this might be a very quick one. Okay, so that. Oh my gosh. Ooh. 
Ah, oh, shields, the shields are what got done. I need you to do that for me. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, no, their shields are getting charged up again. I don't want their shields to charge up again. Okay. See, as soon as you're not in there, they start missing. Okay, let's 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 be let's be brave. Let's assume we're gonna survive this encounter. That's good. Yes. Okay, we can jump now. Phew. Uh, ooh. I'm going to say we should go to the pirate controlled because I despise nebulas. I don't like how they mess with your power settings. I don't like how you get to do all your stuff. So um again, executive decision, but we're going pirates. Okay. Bust now it's over on with bandits and marauders. Let's tread lightly, but first let's get you to charge that. We really need some more crew. Um, and then we can see about getting some other stuff. It's kind of nice and refreshing to have a sensible crew member, i got to say, Perdita. Okay, shields back on. Oh no, no. Got to save my position at the helm because. Right. Okay, jump. The quest marker's up there. That does give us a path to the exit, which is good. So, north it is. Okay, oh, pirate ship is waiting inside the asteroid and immediately moves into attack. What a jerk. I think I'm gonna need to put another layer on our shields. We keep encountering. Jerky jerk faces whose faces are jerks. I'm not a fan. I can't help but notice that there's a lot of missing going on there. Oh, oh man. Okay, so I've got the shields down. Okay, cool. We need to fix that. And hope that there's not a fire or a breach. There is an enemy ship he's preparing up with FTL. Oh, good luck with that. Uh, I'm about to shoot you with burst lasers. And you just got destroyed by an asteroid anyway, so. You know, go to heck. Go unto heck. There we go. We're fine. The hull's a little dinged. We can deal with it. We have the technology. feeling confident. It's a little bit locked down here. There's only the two of us. We do need a shop. Well spotted that Perdita. Okay. Come on. Leap. Leap. Okay. Ah, oh, it's a sun. And we have intruders. Oh my gosh. You go there. And you all can suffocate. Yeah, you heard me. With the added advantage that you're gonna stay level F101 because you never die. Look, if if you're the good luck charm, I wouldn't hate that. Here comes the solar flare. Oh, and the fire's in the room we're in. Who'd have thought that? Okay. Oh no. Oh no! Put out the fire without being hit. Oof. Oof. Okay, let's close those. Uh, look, that's great, but we really need to charge this and get the heck out of the way. Oh no. Solar flare a minute. What are we doing? Where's it gonna be? Where's it gonna be? Uh, door control! Uh. Okay, for Dave, you put it out because I'm charging here. Oh no, we don't want door control when there's a problem when there's a fire. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna jump. We're gonna jump here. Ah, we can hire a crew member. 
What's the difference? There is no difference. One's cheaper. Okay, you, go in there and help. You, go and help yourself. You, go and do something. Be a helpful boss. Okay, it's Purdy 5 in the house. Let's just, everyone go and make sure everything's fine while I go in here. There we go. Purdy 5 is in the house. Everyone can go back. Purdy 5, are you happy to be engineer again, Purdy? You did pretty well in that role last time. Stations are saved. Okay, I'm going to be very sad now because this quest is almost certainly going to be a trap. Of course it's a trap. Oh, we got a beam, we got a heavy laser. I should have taken that time to put another layer on our shields and I didn't because I'm a silly man. Okay, what's the beam going to do? Oh, our shields. Oh, our O2. Oh, hitting the shields again. That can go there. Oh, okay. There we go. Well, we don't need to worry about that now. You can go there. You can go there. Okay, so I'm preparing the med bay. In fact, Purdy, you can prepare the, repair the med bay with me. Actually, ship explodes. So we're reaving a bunch of stuff. Really, really need a shop. Our hull is not happy. I'm not happy with the state of our hull. Let's all get in on the... Okay, the shields are fixed. Oh, I just saved this. That was foolish. Right, I'll go back to the piloting. Little F101, little F01 you can hit webs. And the wonderful alien purdy. Right. Let's do that. Let's also, while I'm at it, just do across the board there. Of course, there's no store, which, you know, it's too easy. On the edge of a nebula, which I'm again not through. Okay, normally glance out, but there's nothing but clouds and silence. The lack of stores, I'm not a fan of. It's a scout nearby, identifies as a threat and engages because it's a jerk. They've got a burst laser as well. I think we might be about to iterate out the Gilligan again. Just get out my little... Or not. That's helpful too. Hey! Oh. It's because it was the shields and not that. Okay. Let's save the missiles, shall we? Okay. So now we just wait for our burst laser to charge. Auto fire at them. They sent out another drone. Now they can't send out another drone. Auto assault. Good for them. Badness. Bad, bad, bad. Hey, we dealt with it. 22 there. One. Oh, come on! Just. As soon as you arrive, a small ship decloaks behind yours. You immediately power up the shields and weapons, but they continue on their trajectory unimpressed. You try to calm your nerves. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That hurts. That hurts. You arrive to have a small fleet of Enki ships target you with a message. Piracy results in negative societal impact. Not permitted. Assure them of our honest intentions, and they let us pass. Okay. Oh, another sun. Oh, and baddies. Oh, my giddy aunt. We might be in trouble here. There might be some problems. Especially when they decide that our shields can be zapped with their ion thema. Go unto heck. Thank you for missing your ion thema. Where are we on fire? Oh, Purdy. Okay, that'll help. Look, 
could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. Two missiles, a drone, and 24 scrap. Charging, 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 charging. Solar flare imminent. Jumping! Zoop. To the exit. Okay. Arrive at long range recon beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You arrive in a system and immediately just got a pirate ship nearby. Strangely, scans indicate there are no life forms aboard. Salvage anything useful, but find no clue as to whereabouts of the former crew. Two missiles, one drone, and 34 scrap. I'm happy with that scrap. Oh, you jerk. We have to go. And if we could get there and back, we'd have a store. But if we get there... Okay, here's the thing. They're going to jump to there. There's the possibility that their next jump won't take us to the exit. So we can go to the store and back. What does my crew say? I think it's probably worth the risk because at least we can repair some in the store, but it could end up being our death sentence. So I'm just waiting to hear back from the crew. Okay, so... Shopping spree of hope. We got one vote for the store. Fi Dave, what do you reckon? Worth it? I think it's worth it. I'm going to be really annoyed if there's something that's like a hundred and is amazing and awesome that we can't pass up there. That's going to make me a bit sad. I'm actually a bit miffed. We haven't received any extra like systems or anything in our travels thus far. Okay. Shoppings, shoppings, I went with shoppings. I'm not gonna, even going to look at the map yet. Okay, oh, really? So, a system repair drone is worth it. What did I say? Drone control. Hey, it comes with a system repair drone. That's even better. So now we can fix up into the yellow, get a couple more missiles. Happy with our fuel stocks right now. Okay. And now it's time to see. Oh, Purdy. Let's get you healthy before we commit ourselves to our next course of action. Oh, I need to. Right. System of it. and oh, it's just, just over. Here we go. Good. Found that they must have got to survive long enough to jump. So we want to take out their shields, take out their lasers, as is our want. Got my system repair drone on deck for if and when stuff gets damaged or a fire starts. Feeling okay about this? I think we didn't make a mistake. There's no anti-ship missile either. Okay, that hurt. That stung. Not gonna lie. I'm a little bit... A little bit hurt by that. Okay, so we just killed one of the crew. That's helpful for us. And we've only got to do two more damage and that'll get rid of them. We get one scrap, which is a bit annoying, but oh, one fuel even. Now it's time for us to leap away. Okay. Oh. Mantis homeworld or nebula? Once again, I'm just gonna make the executive decision to go to the Mantis homeworld because I hate nebulas. Hate, hate, hate nebulas. You've entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your hull planning's up to scratch. You have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. We do indeed. Mantis can be fun. There's gonna be a lot of boarding. So if we get a shop, and can get ourselves an anti- Oh, hang on. We also need to upgrade to get at least one more energy this round. That'd be nice. Okay. So. That way. Let's go. 
Turn them off and see what happens. Go straight up. Oh, rebel ship. When the rebellion is complete, you'll see the safer world we provide. Well, you won't, but you get the idea. Fine. Jerk face. Let us attack their shields with our missile and their pew 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 with our pew pew pew, as is my want. Let's also power up our thank you system repair droid for dealing with our damaged shields. It's powering up its FTL, is it? They've offered surrender. Four fuel and 20 scrap. No, I say we destroy them and loot the remains. I'm not a fan. They're the enemy. They're trying to kill us. They started it. I think we should just blow them out of the sky. Got a vote for loot. Got a very damaged person in there. Yeah, nah, we don't need that. We don't need that. We have delayed the FTL. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Oh, what are they trying to do? Ah, uh, they're trying to fix the weapons. That's all right, Fidev. You don't have to apologize. It's deliberately very low key as far as audience involvement is concerned. These little things, they just have a lot of fun. Okay, the ship explodes. Look at that. It's more than they offered us. Back in the red hull ways though. Not down with that. Oh, Children of Earth are terrible, terrible tales of the Blood Red Mantis invasion ships, much like the one bearing down on you now. Yay! Oh, no, I don't care about the piloting. I want the missiles to hit the shields and then whips. Okay, so we've started some fires. That's handy. Bye-bye shields. There you go. That was good. That was handy. Dealt with that. Oh, 37 scrap, two missiles, and some fuel. I'm going to go to this one because it reveals stuff. Hey, Og of the Twitch. How you doing? Long time no see. In chat. Again, I don't know why I'm typing this in chat too, Mike. and again I don't know what I'm putting in chat and also with the mouth words I'm doing both and naming crew after people in chat wanna join the crew when next we get more okay so you spot a small rebel ship nearby we have seven hull at this point in time it seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. Demand the surrender of their goods or avoid, avoid the ship. We could demand the surrender of their goods. There's going to be a fight. It's a fight we will probably win. Although with seven hull, if they've got missiles, it might be a problem. Um, but we might get stuff, and I think we should do that. I'm betting on us being able to jump to a store soon and get some hull back. What says my brave and noble crew? Should, should we attract a transport vessel? Loot! Capital loot. So loudly supporting the looting. Uh, I, I, I support the enthusiasm of that, that support of the looting, and I think that, that that will carry the day. Okay, and now they're going to try to escape. So, what I need to do is... Oh, they've got a missile, and they've got a... And they're charging the trail and they're beaming aboard. Hey buddy, you get to suffocate a little bit there. Oh. That's gonna be wrong. Ah, fair enough. on their FTL. Okay, we've got four hull left. We're keeping their, their weapons in check and we've just destroyed them. I can't, 
can't. <laughs> I think I got you. Okay, so we've got 43 scrap. That's good. Two fuel and a missile. Okay. Stress, but not a shop. Just want a shop. We have four hull. I don't know if we can engage with the distress call with four hull. Or do we want to go for the no guts, no glory? We should do at least charge that so we can have med bay going. Fire some missiles. Ah, oh, hello, quack. We've missed you, quack. Okay. Distress call. Because the other thing as well, the distress, the distress, the distress call reveals a new location. Reveals more loon. Hey everyone, big ol' honk. Okay, distress beacon it is. I just made a decision. We need to reveal more new places, increase the chances. Ha ha! We have another system repair drone and 47 scrap. That's great. And a store! Yes! That made sense. Okay, I'm not reading the things. Sorry, I keep forgetting to read the things. Uncertain about what you'll discover at this beacon, you scan the surroundings. You detect several warnings on my band channels discouraging any violence in protected trade space. Perhaps you can find some wares nearby. Okay, page two. Sell. We don't need two system repair droids. That's for sure. What we do need is a lot of fixing. We have enough fuel for now. We can page two. Do we want to hire a crew person? Because if we hire a crew person, then Og, I can't watch you because I don't have any internet in the place. I'm gonna be back in like a week. Cool. Do you want to be a mantis quack? You don't want to be a slug this time. Do you want to be a piloty mantis or a non-piloty mantis? What am I? What's my what's my piloting level? My pilot, you would be a better pilot than I. You don't need anyone else. Listen to your heart. Oh, Fee Dave, come on. Okay. What are we up to with Quack? Okay. I have been inconsistent here, clearly, because Quack was definitely Quack 4 last time. So, what I'm doing is I am now confirming that this is the current iteration of everybody. It's very technical. You sh yeah, you're Quack 5 now. Yes, you will be Quack 5 now. Okay. We're going to leave the rest of the other stuff. It's just... It's like, hi, we've just hired you. Welcome to the crew. We're going to call you a new name. But I have names. It's like, that's nice. Your name is Quack5. Okay. And you get to be the pilot, and I will be shields. Actually, will I be shields or will I be doors? Because having someone in doors is actually super helpful. Uh, let's save that. What I'll also do is put an energy into so that our we should have quack yes yes it's all good uh, okay so everyone's everyone's happy everyone's here we got another store which is frustrating because I don't have any money left I do not think that Fido sent <laughs> Upon arriving at the beacon, your how by well spoken mantis. Hail, traveller. These are dangerous times. Perhaps you find yourself in need of our services. It appears to be a trader. Okay, so. We can't do anything, but that's okay, because I don't feel like we're missing out. NASA is live and you're watching FTL. <laughs> that's such a good combo. It's kind of like watching... Um... 
like having a really good investigation live and then watching the Keystone Cops. Okay. I didn't I didn't I didn't read the flavor text. That's rude of me. I'm sorry. I'm deliberate I'm trying to be better at that. You arrived just in time to see an unusually well armed Engie ship destroying a small pirate craft. A teleport signal is detected. Intruder on deck! A young mantis in a charred uniform has teleported onto the deck, begs for sanctuary from the Enki, and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The Enki has already traced the teleport signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. So, are we siding with the fugitive and fighting the Enki, or are we going to offer up the... Bye-bye, the... Og of the Twitch, thank you for checking in. Um... Agree to offer up the mantis in exchange for a bounty. What are we doing? Are we siding with the fugitive or are we handing them over? Bounty? Save. Okay. Quack. You get more mantis. Okay. So we've got two sides with the fugitive. <laughs> and one agree to offer up the... Okay, we're going to side with the fugitive. Oh, it's a trap. The mantis sabotages... Oh, what a jerk. We'll be talking about this. Quack. This is coming up in your... Oh, hang on. Nope. Okay. Deal with the drone. Deal with the lasers. It was Fidei's fault. I don't, I don't think you can, like... We can, we can very clearly read back the memo, like the, the, uh, the notes from the meeting. Oh, dang it. Oh, well. One missile, one drone, and 41 scraps. And another engine, because the engine and the dodging, pro tip, very handy. If I go there, two, three, yeah, I can do that. So a little bit of a backspace. A little bit. A little bit. Mantis military ship appears. Okay. Hey, uh, Quack. You don't want to have a word with your people? Tell them to stop attacking us? Much dodge, many weave. It's okay, Purdy. System repair drone is on its way. They've got a whole bunch of fires in their thing. That was very quick. And then deactivate auto fire now, I think. Two missiles. That's cool. We got both missiles back. Excellent work there. Really, like, Fidev is is great on weps. I don't think we should make um, Stuve or Stree feel bad about themselves, but uh, Fidev is definitely doing excellently. Not sensible for no reason. Precisely. Okay. Uh, we can definitely do both of those locations. Aha! Uh -huh. You cross paths with a mantis that looks to have had dozens of layers of armor plating added over what must have been a hundred year career. Your captain is a legendary thief. Cause ah, click, click. Your crew look frightened. Quack. You should attempt to hail them. Form a weird alien haka, charge the weapon systems. Okay. Oh, they're beaming aboard. Oh, Purdy. Purdy, no. There you go. Actually, what I'm going to do, Purdy, is I'm going to make you in the doors so that when they work out that we're trying to space them, the doors are really, really tough. And let's target their oxygen. Yeah, you dance the dance of your people and your people attacked us. So really, once again, this is going to be brought up in your monthly review. You did the angry, of course you did the angry dance. Two missiles, one drone, 28. 
Crow's like, I, I fight to last, and you pick scraps from the corpse of your ship. You sense, though, that his death has left a great mystery unresolved. Well, that's good. I had no choice. Thank you for giving me flavor text when you're like, oh, but you can't do that now. Jerk. <laughs> well, we'll see about space. I've never actively sent a crew member to a room and then just spaced it. It sounds like it'd be really funny, but I won't do it this time. Okay. So we could potentially buy a slave to join us, thereby supporting the slave industry. We could attack the slaver in the hopes that they then surrender. That's what I'm thinking. Attack, get free crew, profit. Let's do that. Are we in accord, Fidev? Are you happy to happy to make that happen? The sensible the sensible weapons officer, which is very rare, very out of type for science fiction narratives, certainly. Ignore. Okay, so we've got two attacks and an ignore. So you can tell us I told you so, Fidev, but we are going to attack. Make that happen. Okay, so there's lots of ion. That's in character with slavers. Oh, your shields, go away. Okay, there's a lot of zapping happening and not a lot of surrendering. Aha! Sim! Let's accept their offer. Look at that. And keep getting bounced from system to system because people who are better than me keep getting hired. Oh, little, little F1, look at you with your yellow turning up on your skill tree. Okay. When I go over there and sweep an airlock. Like, no, 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 what's going on here? No, I need to be in there. I do like the idea of having that. Okay, so. Time for us to jump. Definitely. Rock space. <laughs> the rock people are a powerful and proud race. It's not unheard of to have a peaceful journey through their lands, but don't count on it. Right. Oh, many options to get there. Okay. Uh, no. And no. We don't need drones more than we need missiles, and we've only got five missiles. We need a store, funnily enough, because we also need le fuel. That reveals that many, that reveals that many. That reveals bugger all. Okay. Right. Mercenaries, hire them to delay, hire them to scout. How about we hire them to scout so then we can find the store or we can ignore them. But I don't think we have enough missiles to engage at this point in time. What does a crew say? Hire to scout, we've got to vote for scout. Another vote for scout. I've got an itchy leg. Sorry about that. Ugh. It's also five minutes till bedtime, so we might survive tonight and then keep going on Tuesday. Your suggestions are flawless. I think you might want to look that word up, Quack. I know that... Yeah. Okay. Oh, and we've revealed a story. Okay. Established a trading post in the husk of an abandoned capital ship. Look at that. Look at all of that. I think we should just fix, fix, fix. There we go. Okay. 
so now we have some options. I think we should go there, and then there, and then to the exit, and then through to the distress. So let's just have a look. Rock ship flies past your windows and you recognize outcast decorations on the hull. There must be pirates. Oh, they're sneaky, sneaky pirates. This makes me sad because we haven't upgraded our weapon systems. And that is something I feel could come and bite us in the bum. Okay, you just... I love how when your stuff gets hit with the iron cannon, you just stand... The person just stands there like, well, I got nothing to do. Oh, come on, do the thing. You do that thing. You do that thing. Well, we got... We've vented them to Atmo, so that's handy. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, the downside of not having stuff on auto fire is sometimes you don't notice when they're charged and ready to go. Oh, this is going to end very badly for us. Oof. They're nearly gone. We have no missiles left. That makes me sad. I'm not happy with that. Okay, come on. Pew the pews. Good shooting for Dave. It's a fair amount of scrap. Only one missile. That's not ideal. Can't go back to that store. Pew pew pain. Scanners indicate that a battle is taking place nearby. It seems that someone is under attack by space pirates. Shall we aid a civilian? With our one missile, but we have many pew. I think we should aid the civilians, but if people think we should stay out of it, we can be cautious. We have pew pew pain, although per it yes. Power up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. Uh, and look, they've got a they've got like droney McDrone face anyway, so it's not like we could have used missiles on them. Hey, there we go. So we took out one of their weapons, didn't take out the missile. That's a little vecting. Vecting? Vecting isn't a word. Vexing is a word. It's a little vexing. Okay, so let's pew 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 on their drone. Ah, oh, cursed drone! It's like one of them advanced drones shooting down actual lasers. That's annoying and rude. Hey, and now you don't have a drone that works anymore. That's a delight. They have all their weapons back. That's less delightful for me as far as I'm concerned then that'll help. Oh no! All hands, put out the fire! Oh no! No, no, cancel, cancel, cancel. Oh, this is gonna take longer than I had hoped. Okay, that's good. What I should be doing is letting the missile power up, but not actually using it. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Oh, Fidev, good shooting with our last remaining missile. Oh, that's the O2. I'll let the system repair drone get to that, I think. Let's contact the civilian ship. Hey, welcome aboard, Johnson. Okay, Purdy. What? Where's Johnson gone? I think there's a glitch, because that's happened to me before. I was like, welcome aboard, Johnson. But no Johnson. What smells like vacuum? Isn't the moon supposed to smell a bit like gunpowder because of the fines? And that is after 10 o'clock. So, I will try and control myself 
and not play FTL until Tuesday when I will once again play at 8.30 and with the current iteration of people and hopefully one or two more people will join us in the chat. It will be a delight if the same people could join us in the chat on Tuesday. Uh, I'm thinking of, given that the last few Sundays I haven't really had anyone keen for jackboxing, um, I'm thinking of sh shuffling around a little bit what I do. Uh, probably look at doing jackboxing on the Tuesday or the Thursdays through the week. Um, you'll be there after art. Okay, and hopefully we won't have had to iterate you by then. Quack. Um, I won't space you if you're not there at the beginning, it's fine. Um, yeah, so we'll see what we're going. Maybe people have gotten over Jackbox. I don't know. Um, but in the meantime, be well, be safe, especially Melbourne people. Look after yourselves, reach out to people. Don't think you need to do it alone. Don't think it's okay to not be okay. I've had a couple of chats already with people today. Um, and in the meantime, be well, stay well, stay safe. Uh, and I'm going to go and buy some cloth masks because it looks like they're going to be a thing in Canberra soon. And look, it doesn't hurt to make them a thing in general anyway. Let's normalize these things. I had a conversation with Isabel yesterday. Yesterday? Yes, yesterday morning. It's like, well, we're going to have to start getting cloth masks and wearing masks. And she's like, oh, but they're uncomfortable. I'm like, yes, they are. But they're not as uncomfortable as being intubated or having COVID. And she was like, ah, good point. So, you know, nine-year-old showing more uh, maturity than many much, much older than nine-year-old people. What a shock. Um, love you all. Time now for big head mode and big thumb mode. And bye-bye. <laughs>